Grab eighth question. We have an advertiser who's analyzing the growth of likes for their new ad on YouTube. She analyzed that the increase in likes in a given second is equal to four times TAV, where TAV is the midpoint of the time interval. That is the average time in that time interval. And so we are given an example to explain what this is. The increase in likes from 3 seconds to 4 seconds. So from the time t is equal to 3 to the time t is equal to 4, there is a number of increase in likes which is equal to 4 times 3.5. And 3.5 is the midpoint of 3 and 4. So one way to write this is, let's look at time t and the time t plus 1, t seconds and t plus 1 seconds. Then it is given to us that the likes at time t plus 1, so the number of likes is a function of time. So at time t plus 1 minus the likes at the time t is basically 4 times TAV is a midpoint of t and t plus 1, which is basically t plus t plus 1 divided by 2. So that will give us 2 times 2t plus 1, which is equal to 4t plus 2. This is the difference in the likes from time t seconds to t plus 1 seconds. Now it is further given to us that this particular function is a quadratic function. So, L of t plus 1 in this case is basically a times t plus 1 the whole square plus b times t plus 1 plus c and L of t is a t square plus b t plus c. Then the difference L of t plus 1 minus L of t is equal to a to t plus 1 the whole square will give us a t square plus 2 a t plus a and b times t plus 1 gives us b t plus b and finally we have the c left and we are supposed to subtract a t square and b t and c which gives us these cancelling off and 2at plus a plus b and we know this quantity is basically equal to 40 plus 2. So we are saying that 2at plus a plus b is equal to 4t plus 2. Now what we are supposed to acknowledge here is that the term with the t in it, that is the time dependent term, is going to be same on both sides, whereas the term which is constant is going to be same on both sides. Thus, we are saying 2at is equal to 4t and a plus b is equal to 2. This gives us 2 times t and t cancel, so we know a is equal to 2. And that would imply b is equal to 2 minus a which is equal to 0. And our question is asking us what is the value of b. So we know this is equal to 0. The second question, the second part of the question is asking what is the total number of likes at the end of 60 seconds. That would be impossible to calculate because we have the values of a and b. So we know that our L of t, in this case we want L of 60, is going to be a t square plus 0 t plus c and that is 2 t square plus c. But we don't know what c is. So, L of 60 is going to be 2 times 
60 square plus some constant. Now, if we made further interpretations that there were 0 likes at time t is equal to 0. So, if L of 0 is equal to 0, then C is equal to 0. So, this is a particular assumption we are making. We are assuming that the timer started when the likes were 0. And that would imply your L of t is nothing but 2t square. So, L of 60 is going to be 2 into 60 into 60, which is equal to 2 times 3600, that is 7200 likes at the end of 1 minute. And lastly, for part C, we are being asked, the domain of the function is k to infinity. What is the value of k? We know that L of t is 2t square plus c. The only real requirement we have is that our likes be greater than or equal to 0. So, L of t is greater than or equal to 0, which implies that 2t square plus c is greater than or equal to 0. Another thing we have is clearly that L of 0 is equal to c. And this also has to be greater than or equal to 0 because at 0 time, it's not like you can have negative likes. So, c has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, we know that t square is always greater than or equal to 0. And now, we also found that c is also greater than or equal to 0. So, 2t square plus c is always greater than or equal to 0, which means any time that is 0 or greater than 0. So, we are looking at the timer being started at a particular time and from there on, if this is 0, from there on, your function is well defined and the number of likes will be greater than or equal to 0. So, the domain will be all the time from 0 seconds to infinity.